that definition. You know, I'm up to like 440 cars, bro. 440 cars, you eat that much? No. Of course you don't. You're too little. I, 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 I see those little things. What's up, everyone? I'm so much more defined than you are. <laughs> Welcome to Intoxicated Opinions. Tonight, we have a double header from Apex at Works, located locally in Independence, Missouri. Um, what's wrong with your face, dude? It's beautiful, ain't it? Um, right here, Hop Solo. This is a pale ale. This is called a Smash Beer. Smash stands for single malt and single hop. Um, this was recommended by the owner himself. He said, hey, before you leave, Try this. Actually, I didn't even... I got two other beers in my car that I was actually going to bring. Then he, I went to him and said, hi. He said, hold up. No, no, what you, you got there? Said, hi. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> I went to him and said, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> no, you said, hi. What's up, bro? What's up, dude? <laughs> he said, hold on. Don't try those. Try these two. So this is called Hop Solo, kind of like Han Solo. If you are a Star Wars fan, it's a pale ale. This is called Wild Trist. It's a porter. Um, and so we're going to check it out. You ready, my dude? Yeah. This has more of a crisp smell, more of a, like an apple crisp smell. Mm, hop so low. Yeah. Single malt and single hop. So, so you know, the porter is... over here smells a little more coffee-ish, more darker, a little more rich. The smell. Lighter, lighter the berry, the sweeter the juice. I say the darker the flesh and the deeper the roots. Bro, it, ha it tastes like weed. You just said weed. Do you know what weed tastes like? <laughs> you never had this weed. This tastes like you? weed smells. What? Okay. This tastes like ditch weed. No, it don't. It tastes like a citrus drink. It tastes citrusy. It tastes like, oh, uh, God, I can't put my finger it's, on it. It's those hops that make me get that marijuana taste. It is absolutely beautiful. Delicious. Maybe I just had weed on my mind, so we talk about it. You know what? Mm. After you take a little chug, it does taste like weed. I told you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I told you. It tastes like citrus, bro. It's all those hops. Wow. I think uh this would be good, uh smoke and drink, huh? Yeah. If you, uh, I don't smoke, head. by the way, in case my job tried to drop me. This is, this might be my, one of my top favorite pale ales, man. Well, I've, I've Why, never. Why, you like the weed taste? No, I've never had a, well, <laughs> so how they brew it, it's a single malt, single hop. And so most pale ales are brewed with a multitude of different things. This is one malt, one hop. That's why it's called Smash. Single malt and single hop. Smash. This is, this is a smash beer. Um, and it just, it's so uh, pure. It's a good word for it. It's not diluted with. This initial is crisp. This initial is very, like I say, has a sweeter, citrusy taste. Um, kind of like orange. Kind of an orange. But it's not it, it's not bad at all. Hop solo. Compared to any other L that we had, godly. This might be it's it's pretty good for L. It's five point five percent, so it's like this or corona, you know what I'm saying? And this is just killing it. It's don't don't be disrespectful. Bro. Stop. Corona? That's my beer choice. Natty light, how about that? Huh? Natty light. Natural light. Oh yeah. Budweiser, can I say that? Yeah. Yeah, basic beers. Anyway, all I'm saying is. So what you're trying to say is, this, like, this is part of the elite beer class. This is the percentage wise is comparable to Corona Bud Light. Flavored Light. though. This is elite. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I can work with that. I can work with that. Um. This is 5.5 percent ABB. 35 IBUs. And. uh Tastes delicious. Tastes delicious. That's and what my daughter says. Delicious. 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 Mm -hmm. And he told me, hey, we're about to run out. And it's going to take a couple months to make a new one. Mm. 
And the new one is going to be from a different single malt, single hop. Or he's going to mix them together, so it's not going to be the same. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so whoever watches this better go to there. Get as can. many as you can. Mm-hmm. All right. Might bring it back. Anyway, on to this Wild Trist Porter. I, I'm not going to lie. I look I look forward to the, the Porters. I like Porters a lot, yeah. man. Right. Um, this is going to be 9.5%. I like now the darker beers. They're more... Yeah. They're more wet. They, so they're they're usually stronger. This is, has been aged in a wild turkey barrel for nine months. Okay. This delicious porter is clean and crisp and having a pronounced chocolatey flavor. Ah, oh, don't say that. Don't get my hopes up. That's what it says. Don't get my hopes up. See, we should just drunk it first. And then come on, man. Cheers. Then read it. Let me drink some water. <laughs> All those hops really, you know, flatten down my uh, my taste buds. This is gonna sound it might sound harsh. It might sound not so harsh. Tastes like a fat, a flat cola. A flat cola. Yeah. Like Un- if I had uncarbonated pop. There you go. No, it tastes like a flat cola, like a cola that's been open and it's been in a refrigerator. And now you're drinking it again after like three weeks. Uh-huh. That's what it tastes like. You're not feeling this. It's not that I'm not feeling it, but uh-huh. that's the flavor that it has. You're not tasting the chocolate. The chocolate, no, it doesn't hit. Like I said, it tastes like a flat cola. Dig deep in your throat. You gotta look. Then you'll feel it. <laughs> Listen. It's in the back end, bro. I taste the bitterness of the chocolate. Yeah. You don't taste it. Taste what? The flat color? Yeah. That's the best way for me to describe it. Unique. That's a good word, right? Have you ever said... Any other porter tastes like a flat cola? I can't remember that. Yeah, but it's not supposed to. It's supposed to taste like Like chocolate. No, the chocolate is just on the back end. The front end should taste like wild turkey barrels. Yeah, I don't. So I'm not feeling this one. Not feeling this one. Nah. I don't Mm. mind it, man. I think we did another porter from Apex. We did. Uh, And that one was good. Just not feeling this one, huh? Yeah, just not this one. We can't like them all, I guess. Nah, you're not going to. Apex Ale Works. Uh, Lager, Stout, Pale Ale, Irish Red Ale, uh, Brown Ale. No, this is the first porter. Cherry Limeade. Um, No, this is the first porter from Apex. So, like, if you drink it real fast, you get hints of that chocolate. Uh Uh-huh. But the initial flavoring in your mouth is definitely like a flat cola. Coffee cola. Maybe it's the chocolate. I can't say this is my favorite porter, but... uh, It's not. You know it's not. That's what I just said. I don't even know why you said that, because you know it's not even comparable. I said I can't say this is my favorite porter. So what, what is it then? And I can't say it's my least favorite porter. Yeah, because we didn't have horrible porters. We didn't have stuff that said it's supposed to taste like such and such. It didn't say, taste like it at all. It's just not my thing. It's this not. Porter's not my thing. No, this this is, I, I'm not liking this one. That's the first one from Apex we're not really feeling, huh? I'm not at all, Nah. Hey, I'll tell you what, this hop solo is fire, though. <laughs> mm. You gonna chug that? He swallowed good. He swallows good and fast for those who may inquire about his swallowing skills. <laughs> yeah. No chocolate? This chocolate, a little bit. I'm not gonna waste a drop, though. Yeah, it's chocolate a little bit. But, you know, on the flip side, um, 
maybe like a porter specific enthusiast could come up and be like, yeah, crazy. This porter is amazing. But um, hop solo is our favorite out of this double header. Yeah, definitely don't chug it. It leaves a bitter, bitter taste. <laughs> wow. At least you swallowed my Maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, this ain't my favorite. No. Nah. Uh-uh. Not even close. Do like I, I like the air, Chris. I'm a darker drink, darker uh, beer drinker. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Except for Corona. I, oh, I you just gonna bounce on video? <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Excuse us. Head out to Apex. Get this hop solo. Um, it's gonna be out soon. It's gonna be a couple months before they have a new one. As far as this wild tris goes. Oh shit! Yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> as far as this wild tris goes, um, if you like porters, check it out. It's just not our thing. I'm gonna say maybe maybe if I had this a little colder, a little colder, the bartender said, "Hey, let it warm up." Yeah, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to swallow it warm. I do. I think I think it'd be better colder. Definitely. Anyway, Tim from Apex, we appreciate your willingness to. Are you serious, my dude, bro? Rest my good though. Your willingness to help intoxicated opinions out by supplying us by with great uh, alcohol, beers all the time. Um, Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. For the people watching. Apex L Works, Google it. It's in Independence, Missouri. I think most of our viewers are from the KC area, except those uh, Middle Eastern. Okay, people. thank you. Like, you share, subscribe, about- comment down below. <laughs> Peace. We out. <laughs> we out. <laughs>